So this is a little bit wonky, but incredibly powerful. And it's also a necessary lead in to Nicole's uh, presentation, which is there is this ChatGPT plugin, and we'll explain or extension that we'll call that's called AIPRM. And what it offers is access to, you know, Nicole and hundreds of other really advanced users and the prompts that they've built for us to use and that they've given to us for free. So AIPRM is a um, plugin or an add-on that you can put into G ChatGPT so that it's you can actually access it through ChatGPT. And it, what it does, the purpose of it is it gives you access to pre-written public prompts. So as a reminder, what is a prompt? A prompt is the thing you type into um, the, the text box at the bottom of ChatGPT. Uh, you will remember we talked about simple, complex, uh, and um, and multi-part prompts. And it's an instruction or discussion topic that you want ChatGPT to respond to. Oftentimes in prompts, you'll give it context about who you are, who your audience is. You'll give it information that it can draw from. And it can be a question or a statement. What AIPRM does is it gives you free access to thousands of public prompts. Um, and so how do you install AIPRM? Well, it's an extension or plugin for the Chrome browser, Google's browser Chrome. And it works on Mac or PC, but you do have to install it to find it. And it also works on the Brave and Edge browsers. And we're gonna show you now how to install it on Chrome, but you can, the resources doc that we share is instructions for other browsers. You can also just Google, how do I install AIPRM on a Brave browser and you'll get a good response. So first put AIPRM, uh, Google Chrome extension in, the, in, in your search. Uh, you'll see the first result comes up. You then click on it. And if you're in a Chrome browser, it'll immediately invite you to add it to Chrome. And then you just click add extension. And then next time you log into ChatGPT, it'll suddenly look uh, a lot busier. So, the interface of ChatGPT is a pretty clean interface, a little bit like Google search. It's just basically a box uh, with some stuff on the left-hand side. The AIPRM one is much, much busier. Uh, so you'll have to kind of get used to that. And on the bottom, it in invites you to write your prompt as normal. But in the upper right it is a button called search. And this is really the most important place for you. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, you type that into the search. There's also some different topics and activities so you can actually filter the thousands of public prompts that are already available. These public prompts are basically like people like Nicole who are high level practitioners are building prompts and then just sharing them freely. And um, Nicole, I'd love for you to talk about how you use public prompts and why you were inspired to make your own. Okay, well, Michelle asked, what's the best way to search through the thousands of AIPRM prompts? Well, it's whatever you need to do, whatever you're looking for. Um, I needed to redo my LinkedIn bio and I typed in LinkedIn bio and I got a good prompt. And if you check out my LinkedIn bio, you'll see I edited it some, but it was actually like quite good that um, that chat that the prompt prompted me for. We also use it for blog posts. We'll try out some of the different formats um, as a starting point for the blog posts. And then I created, I started creating my own prompts for things that we had to do over and over in our business or that we were teaching people how to do over and over because then it would make it easier for them to do. Um, and it says, are prompts only in English? They are. And if you have the paid version, you can change it to any language that you want. Um, and I think you can even do most languages on the free, but you need GPT-4 for most prompts to work. All of mine are on GPT-4. And you can, after you create it, you can change the language. Absolutely. We were playing with that yesterday. And there's a paid and a free version of AIPRM. AIPRM, the four prompts that Nicole is going to walk us through here are all available in the free version. Uh, what is the benefit mm -hmm. of uh, paying for AIPRM? Well, I pay so I can make more prompts. <laughs> <laughs> um, because this is, it's kind of like creating your SOPs or standard operating procedures in your business 
these are things that I know if somebody goes through this process, they'll get a good result that will be acceptable to use with client work. So for VAs and stuff, it's really um, helpful. And yeah, you yeah, can. I know Olivia Kennedy, Olivia Kennedy called it your spell book. So this yeah. is kind of like a pre-written spell book for you to leverage to make sure you get, you know, business professional quality responses out of ChatGPT by you or your team. Yeah. Um, and there's a question about the advanced AI PRM with four. You get AI PRM with four, uh, I mean, with three but it doesn't work well. Most prompts don't work on 3.5. Some will say that they do. And I know none of mine will work on 3.5 because it just doesn't process in the same way as four does. Perfect. All right. Well, without further ado, let's launch in. Okay. I so this share. was, uh, so oh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen for each one of these. Uh, and then okay. you'll go into your live demo with one of our volunteers. And we have uh, I see we have Hannah, uh, MJ, um, let me see. We had a couple other people on the panel, uh, but so I only I, see this. Are you going to type them in? Sorry. Oh, there's MJ as well. I'm sorry, what does typing in mean? I can't, uh, I need a screen share to do the prompt unless you are going to be in AI. No, 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 no. So I'm going to just share two slides and then I'm going to hand it back to you. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I'll stop sharing as soon as I, I just want to kind of do the quick intro. Okay. So these were the volunteers, uh, Allison, Hannah, uh, and Philip. I, I don't think I see Philip up uh, or Allison, so we can bring those guys up if possible. Um, all right. So the first AIPRM public prompt we're going to do uh, is the seven question brand story. When you put seven question into the AI PRM search, you'll see the seven question brand story written by AI Smart Marketing, AKA Nicole. You can see it indicates it's a GPT-4 written prompt, only works on GPT-4 or works best on GPT-4. And the description is defined your brands, define your brand story by answering seven questions about your business. And so with that, Nicole. Okay. And uh, who did you want to bring up as a volunteer to work on this one with? Um, let's see. Who do we have? Let's. So in order on my list, Allison is first. Um, so let's go with Allison Regley. So she's not up there. You have uh, Hannah or okay. MJ. Okay, then let's go with Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hello. 